So you're going to play an April Fool's Day trick on your stepfather. That's correct. And you're going to do what? And I'm going to... So you're going to play an April Fool's Day trick on your stepfather. That's correct. And you're going to do what? And I'm going to make sure he really believes what I'm telling him. An email? Yes. And it'll be a phony email? It'll be a phony email. I love it. Thank you. You have April Fool's Day over in Japan, too? Yes, yes, yes. We have. What do you guys do over in Japan on April Fool's Day? Ah. Uh, Tell me about some of those uh, April Fool's Day tricks you used to play. Well, it was just like a verbal joke, you know. I didn't do anything physical, like untie purple. You weren't a physical type no, guy. No, no, no. Like I would say, like, uh, hey, your shoelace is untied. And the other time, I'd say, April Fool's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that one. You play little tricks on people in Japan. Yeah. Like what? Uh, April Fool's Day, you know, came about in the uh, 16th century, 1582. I'll take France. Your word. I'll Happened take, in France. Take your word for it. I was going to do one on my daughter this morning because she didn't realize it was April Fool's Day. And she watched the news and she comes in and says, hey, Ma, do you know it's April Fool's Day today? And I'm like, well, there goes my April Fool's joke on you. A whole bunch of people over in France back in the 16th century, they wouldn't switch. They stuck with April 1st as New Year's Day. And so they called yeah, they them did. April Fools. Because they were uh, foolish to... Uh, Stay with the old. Yeah, they were kind of foolish. Let me think. <laughs> funny. <laughs> April Fool's Day, you're saying to me, is a funny day. To me, yeah. <laughs> funny like how? Joke. <laughs> and you do that on April Fool's Day? <laughs> yes, yeah. That is something else, isn't it? <laughs>